Hey guys, what is up? Jeff here for One Fish, Two Fish. Uh, today we are going to do a video that was not planned. Uh, I'm not looking forward to doing it. I wasn't looking forward to doing it. And it just kind of got thrown in my face. Um, today when we got here, um, not anything that we knew was coming, um, but a very weird problem that I want to share with you guys on the off chance it is ever something. Now this is not probably going to be something that's going to happen to too many of you that don't have a bunch of tanks. Um, we have been playing with this all day. Uh, we have had our, our manager on it. We've had all the staff looking at it. Uh, we have had our, 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 I can't say this really well, our, our, O guy who is just, uh, you know, a master with water stuff. Um, you know, all, all he does all day long is R O stuff. So um, you know, we brought him in to see if he could tell us what the problem was. Now, we still don't know what the problem is. We think we have come up with it. Actually, one of our staff found it online. Um, so for now, it's what we're going with. Um, but just give you a 10 second backstory. Yesterday in the store, all was well. Did our normal typical day close. Uh, we did a bunch of water changes yesterday. Um, probably half of the store got water changes. Uh, the 1350 got a little one. Uh, even the live rock bin got a water change. Um, so we did quite a few water changes yesterday. And we came in today. And let me show you what we came into. So walk back here. So I don't know how well you guys can tell. Oh, you can definitely tell. So this water is super, super cloudy. You'll also enjoy that we have got no coral. This is the worst our coral tanks have ever taken a beaten by. Um, but you can see how ridiculously bad. Mark in the back pretending to work. <laughs> no, Mark's looking. So you can see, yeah, and it's, it's actually good because you can see Mark in the background there and you can't even really see him. Now he's wearing dark clothing, but these tanks are normally, you can see 100% through them like nothing. So where he is, you can't even really see him. Liz, stick your hand in the water. So hands outside the tank? And inside and the actually, tank, and now let's just yeah go back a little. Back. Like you can see how quick. Like at this point, I can see your hand, but it's just it's now like it's a shark done. in the distance. You can just see. Uh, so now, if this was my only problem, we worry about this. So this is all you guys know. One system. All three of these large tanks are all connected to the sump in the middle. But if you come over here, our live rock bin. Now this, we have already done some work on cleaning up today. Um, so it is, I would say 50% better than it was earlier. Uh, it is still cloudy. But you come back. And you can look through our quarantine system. And as you guys know, these tanks are normally crystal clear. You can see through these like nothing. Um, now, here's the difference with these. That is a freshwater system. What we just looked at was obviously a saltwater system. So, something that is happening is causing all of our tanks to be super cloudy. Look at the size of these damsels. And again, you can't even really see them. I am liking how this is showing up very, very well. Again, I probably could have done a better job of cleaning up the front of this glass, but I just want to show you guys the level of cloudiness these are. Those damsels are gorgeous too. Yeah, the damsels are huge. Those guys are monsters. So, we came in this morning. Um, I'm going to step back here a little bit. We came in this morning. Assuming everything was all well and good, because last night when we left, obviously it was. Everything got a good water change. Usually the day after, uh, I'm a little crooked here. Usually the day after when we come in, uh, everything is super active, popping out. Um, after a good water change, everything you know pops from it. The complete opposite. We came in today to over half of our store. Um, this store at any given time has like 15,000 gallons of water running in it. Over half of that, both salt water, both fresh water, was cloudy. Now, 
if, if anything pops in your guys' head on what is the cause of this, do me a favor, please pop below. Because at this point, we're still not even 100% sure what the issue is. So obviously the handful of things to pop up, it's a bacteria bloom. There's no way that's it. It's happened in too many spots. It's happened in too many different tanks. Um, that coral tank has been running for years, uh, years and years and years and years. Um, all of the quarantine tanks, they're all individual tanks. Now we did add a bunch of fish to it so that if that was the only system that this happened in, um, you know, we could certainly look at that. But they get, um, you know, almost 100% water changes every day for the first couple days they're here. Um, very well filtered, lots of sponge filters, lots of bacteria and stuff in it. So again, that would be sort of off the wall. But what has been tricky about it is where this has happened to everything. This happened to the saltwater coral tank. This happened to the saltwater fish tank. This happened to the freshwater quarantine system. This happened to one of our three freshwater systems. I'll give you a minute. Fire some comments below. If you've got any thoughts on what could have caused all of that, I would love to hear it. Um, so what we have found out, so since that had happened, we have also noticed a tank like this. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. Crystal clear. So after playing with all of this stuff, um, we actually, for I would say about 10 hours so far today, we have been trying to figure out what has been going on. Um, the joys of it are nothing has been hurt. Uh, no fish, no coral. The, the, it looked sort of like an algae bloom because literally nothing cared. None of the animals cared about it. I'm looking at the anemone tank actually, it's starting to clear up a little bit. Um, but this, this happened in such a variety of a way that it was impossible to try to point it at one thing. We have different systems cleaning all the water. We have a massive RO system. Um, I'll give you guys a walkthrough video of that one day. Um, it, that was one of the very few things when I actually got started, I knew not to buy a cheap one. Um, I got a very nice RO system. It does a thousand gallons a day. One of the systems is pumping out that. So that should rip out basically anything bad that's in it. So what we have found out um, by checking online, actually thankfully one of the staff members um, was diving on our, our city's um, our city's waste page uh, and they did have a big I guess um, I can't remember Mark what did you say they said they were doing with the water uh, they were flushing a the, flush uh, they're doing a water upgrade and they were flushing the local system which caused the water yes. so what what they were apparently doing in the last 24 hours is they're in our area in a couple of different areas around us they're upgrading the water system and apparently in the last 24 hours they did a big flush now, you wouldn't have, or I wouldn't have thought that something like that would affect water that comes out of the tap as bad as it seemed to. But, like I said, over half of our tanks, fresh water, salt water, it didn't matter. Over half of our tanks when we came in today, super, super, super cloudy. So what we ended up breaking it down to, again, when you see this one, you know, no real clouds to it. Everything kind of looks good. So what we ended up doing was going through and writing out everything to every one of the tanks. Um, because after many hours of being getting sort of very discouraged on what, why we couldn't figure out what this was, um, no, no good answers to, um, you know, sort of to what was going on, and having some very smart people, um, you know, having some very good guys in, um, looking at it and saying, okay, well, let's do this, let's do this, and just nothing panned out, nothing made any sense. Um, so it was at least nice to have uh, something be said. So what we ended up doing was going through and literally for the last 24 hours, writing every tank that got something done. Thankfully, our manager does keep fairly good records of, um, of what is done for water changes on what tanks, when they're done, and that sort of thing. So we were able to go back and literally everything that we gave a water change to yesterday went to poop today. That's as close to swearing on a YouTube video as I've ever come. Um, it, it, it all looked very cloudy. Now the reefer, again, you know, the reefer looked perfect. 
Not a single drop of anything in it. Just crystal clear water. Now this was one that actually kind of messed us up a little bit because it was supposed to get a water change yesterday and we found out that um, the person that was doing it ended up doing a double sort of job which turned out to be bad for us but did a double job on the sump in the coral tank and did a really good clean job of that um, so he ended up using all the salt water he had there so he didn't get to the reefer so lo and behold that seems to be why um, why that that stayed clean for us so I just wanted to bring you guys on I wanted to show you guys um, sort of a weird problem to have first I've encountered in 10 years um, to walk in and see so many fish tanks like this uh, but just to give you guys an idea this stuff can happen um, there's no need to panic if you're noticing the animals are okay if the coral's not dying if the fish are not erratic if they're not um, kind of being bothered by it which none of them seem to be um, what we're going to do for the next and we're going to do another video on this on probably day three or four just to see how it goes uh, to see if it was that flush um, it seemed to be what it was um, we're going to do so the quarantine system we've been running full out water changes all day that water is just being flipped around it's going to get probably two or three flips today hopefully that that shows back clean water if it does we'll know that was it was whatever they did um, and then we'll just have to do a couple of big water changes in the salt water tank we're kind of skeptical to do anything for adding new water to our system right now because of everything that's going on um, so check back with us on uh, the next update we do on this situation we are going to do one more just to tell you guys what we if we did find out exactly what the problem was we also took some of the water out um, for one of the icp tests and we're going to send that off um, it, it's going to take us probably two months before we get it back but that'll be something that we are going to see um, see if, if it if it tells us if there was anything in it um, sort of dangerous to um, I, i'm sure there's nothing dangerous to us in it um, but if there was anything dangerous to, you know, the life of the coral or um, the life of the fish or sort of anything like that that is going to, you know, pop up and bug us in, you know, in a couple months. So um, anyway, guys, make sure to subscribe, make sure to like the video. Um, and in probably, we'll say two to three weeks, we'll show you guys another. We've got a couple videos already lined up. So um, in maybe two to three weeks, we'll do an update video on it. Uh, and we'll show you guys all those same tanks. And hopefully when we do them, they'll all be crystal clear and back to normal. We'll see you in the next one, guys.